Welcome to the Berkshire Museum's Daily Doodle. I'm Liz. And I'm Pete. The Daily Doodle is where we take the word of the day and use it to inspire some doodles. So let's grab some paper and maybe something to draw with and, and let's, let's get, get doodling. doodling. Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to the Daily Doodle today and uh, Peter, I've got a really cool word for you today. All right, what is our word today? The word of the day is wonder. Wonder. Do you know what wonder means? I don't. Would you, can you tell me what wonder means? Yeah, I can totally tell you what wonder means. Wonder means a, ca a cause of astonishment or Ooh. admiration. Now, those are two really big words, but I think wonder just means like a feeling of excitement or something you like a whole lot. Um, you you are just, it causes you wonder. Um, but we're going to get stuck into our doodle. I see Peter's already starting. Oh, I see a, someone. They're staring <laughs> mouth out. agape because they are witnessing something really cool. Something that is making them feel some wonder. You know, actually, the more I look at your doodles, Peter, the more they kind of remind me of Jim Henson's Puppet Pals. Uh, they, they are a little bit, little bit Muppety. Yeah, like you could, we could totally create those in real life and then stick our hands through the, ah, that would be so the puppet cool. hole and like actually have them act out. I think that would be a really cool extension. I am going to, to see. Uh, his mouth is a little too, Peter too Puppet sad Man. looking, so I'm going to make, switch it over, go it up in the corner. Oh, okay. Because he's really excited he because really excited. he's what being visited. <gasps> By what is it? The Pizza Fairy. The Pizza Fairy. <laughs> I love the Pizza Fairy. Now, what does the Pizza Fairy bring you, Peter? The Pizza Fairy brings you, uh, surprisingly, not pizza. It actually brings you a new toothbrush. <laughs> I did not see that coming, and I love the spin on it. So instead of the tooth fairy that brings you, takes your to teeth and brings you money, the pizza <laughs> fairy comes and brings you a toothbrush, probably from eating too much pizza. Oh yeah, well you want to clean up after you have all that pizza. So here, here is a look of wonderment as the pizza fairy presents you with a brand new toothbrush. I'm gonna color in pizza fairy and friends. Hey Peter, is there a name for your character here, or is he just Peter? Peter. Pumpkin eater. Uh, I think that that man there is, uh, his name is uh, Hugh Manson. Oh, okay. The human son. You know what? I think we're going to, I'm going to keep going on the theme of the, uh, a puppet pal and make him purple. I, I like this. He's a Muppet. He, he literally. He's made of felt. <laughs> he really needs that toothbrush for his, for his teeth. Some darker colors in that mouth there, so you can you can tell that that, that is going inside. Yeah, yeah I think um, Puppet Man here, purple purple pea Puppet Man. Um, I'm I'm liking it. He's really really excited about this toothbrush. Oh my uh, goodness! It's been a while since he's been visited by the Pizza Fairy, so uh, <laughs> so he needed a new one. Is that so what you're uh, when to be visited by the Pizza Fairy, you have to uh, you know underneath your pillow, you have to put uh, you make sure it's dry first, your old toothbrush. Oh, okay. So you're putting your old toothbrush under the pillow. Under the pillow. and But you do have to wrap it in the picture of a, of a piece of pizza. Not an actual piece of pizza, because that will ruin your bed. And Aww. the pizza fairy knows that, you know, he doesn't want your beds getting all greasy. Oh, yeah. Pizza fairy's nice. Pizza fairy is a, is a pretty solid guy. Uh, but, you know, you wrap it in the picture of a piece of pizza okay. and then uh if you're lucky the pizza fairy will will show up and give on to you a brand new toothbrush wow that sounds like a very nice pizza fairy i'm going for some really bright colors here my goodness let's add some pepperoni because of course you you drew in that pepperoni i'm going to give him some really fun wings here i'm just having fun with selecting colors today oh yeah no this is a uh, the pizza fairy is is not it's not a subtle fairy. It is a very bright. No, if I was being visited by a slice of pizza, I think I would really want to know it. So. Oh yeah, no, the pizza fairy will wake you up when he shows up. Uh, it's not, it's not what they're trying to do, but they are just, you know, they emit a lot of light. Yeah, I would, you know, he's glowing. I see that. I see that as he's visiting our friend today that he is glowing. 
Oopsie. I want the darker color here, and I didn't get it. There we go. Okay, now we're giving... Ooh, adding some, some, some shadows. We're adding in some shadows really quickly. I think he, I think giving our Muppet some depth. Yeah, I think so. I think he's looking pretty good, though. What do you think? I'm thinking he's looking pretty good. So what can our friends at home do today for their daily doodle? Well, for wonder, is there anything that causes you amazement? Anything that you think is really, really cool? Um, uh, for me, when I think of wonder, I think of Disney fireworks. Fireworks are a great one. Or it could be something like drawing a big dragon that you think would be really amazing. So uh, what I think they, they should do is, you know, doodle something they think is amazing. Okay, that sounds like a really cool idea. So what do they need to do that doodle? Uh, pencil, paper, but they could also use, I don't know, paint. Yeah. Uh, you could, if you have a bunch of pipe cleaners, oh, you can, you can be, do, you can build it out of pipe cleaners. That would be really cool. Okay, well I think, I think our doodle's done for the day. What do you think? I think, I think it is. I think it's pretty good. A plus? Yeah, okay. yeah give us an A plus. <laughs> Well, cool. Well, grab that material guy to do your doodle and, and let's, let's get, get doodling. Get <laughs>